Hi everyone. I'm just getting on live here. Uh, just going to wait for a few minutes to see uh, if anyone's going to be joining me. If not, I'll still share the message. So um, I'm really glad to be here with you uh, this afternoon. I know that there's a lot of uh, you know challenging times that we're dealing with, and so I just want to kind of share with you a little bit about why I am doing this and uh, the reason is because I have been in working in this community for 31 years and I really care about this community. I care about my family, my friends, uh, my clients, my business owners and so I thought if I can come on you know on a regular basis and kind of share some insights, some things that I'm going through, how I can help you, you know, whatever I can do to be here for you. So I just really wanted to, um, that's the whole purpose of why I'm coming on, okay? And last week we talked about how important it is to have the right mindset and heart set. And, um, you know, it is it is not easy, right? And uh, so, you know, we've all been, Kind of punched in the gut here feel like it and we're trying to take it day by day and i'm going to continue to focus on the things that are good and that's why i wanted this week to talk about finding goodwill stories okay and um, i found that i'm going to kind of do this in like three little areas so some goodwill that's going on in our, our family some goodwill that's going on in some local businesses and then big business you know corporate you know, national, international ways. And then I have a little story of an expected story that I want to share. I'm looking forward to sharing with you at the end. So my dad always says that we need to um, do well by doing good. And so it was just so fun to kind of focus on that this week. Oh, hi, Vicki. Hi, Kelly. Um, so as a family, what we're doing, I want to share with you as a family, what we're doing to kind of stay in goodwill with each other is we, and it really has to do with um, connection. And you know what, I, um, a coworker said to me today that, you know, the social distancing is so important, right? Well, equally as important is our connection and being engaged, staying engaged. So the two things that I want to share with you that we're doing as a family to help support one another um, is we have two ways of communicating on a regular basis, on a daily basis. And the first program is called Slack. Has anyone here ever heard of Slack or used Slack? Because it is a great tool. And what it is, it's the way I've been using it for business for for years and it's one stop way of communicating so you don't have to email text or phone call and what you do with you're on your phone you have a way to communicate with your family on slack it's a business tool but it's a great family tool so all my brothers and sisters are on this and we talk to each other daily um, and we provide what we're cooking and you can't really see the screen but you know, some inspirational quotes, we share pictures with each other. So it's a great way to stay connected, which is so important and to encourage one another. And we have to do our own goodwill within our family if we're going to stay strong and together through this. So I love Slack. It's a great tool. The other way that we're staying connected is Zoom. So though, if you haven't used Zoom, it's video conferencing. And it is so good. So we're going to be meeting as a family um, on a regular basis on a Sunday night. And we say those that Zoom together, stay together. So another, we can you can have a different topic each week. You know, it's a way for us to help support each other during this very challenging time. So I hope you found those helpful. I was going to share with you, too, um, three quick stories of local community business owners, what they're doing. Uh, in Leesburg, we have the Nutrition Spot, and they went ahead, it was a great story, and they went ahead and donated quite a bit with, with the Nutrition Spot clients paying for drinks for the emergency room here in Leesburg. So they got their good healthy shakes and teas that were brought to them. So a shout out to the Nutrition Spot. The other um, 
good story was is that here in Percival, uh, our Percival pub, which the restaurants are hurting, they went out yesterday morning and met the seniors at the senior hour at Giant from 6 to 7, and they gave the seniors $25 gift certificates. Now, I thought that was really great and kind of them to be doing that. And then I have another story out in um, Westport, Maine. And I love this story. And so maybe Kelly, you're a photographer. Maybe you would like to do something like this down where you are. And it's Westport, Maine. And the project is called the Front Steps Project, where this photographer is doing well here. And by going and doing a fundraiser, by taking pictures of the people on their front store steps because we have to do all this social distancing and so what a great way to support the community with the fundraiser take your talents and get people out out of the house so I thought those were three really great local stories that I found do you, if you have any local stories please put them the other um, thing I wanted to share you real quick is that our company Keller Williams uh, is an amazing leader amazing leader and he is their company is strong and so he's actually pledging quite a bit of millions of dollars to us as agents to help with some of our coaching expenses so I thought that was a great story and he they also have a really great private Facebook group that is for us agents and it's called pivot and the reason why that's so important is because as a community of agents, our leaders are pouring into us and making sure that we're prepared for what could be happening in our financial world, in our real estate world. They wrote a book a while ago, and it's called Shift, and it's really helping prepare us so that we can be prepared for you, um, our clients, and our community. So a couple of other great stories that I found is, um, did you see this one that Target has actually given $300 million to pay raises, sick leave, and is donating $10 million to the virus causes. I thought that was amazing. Kudos to Target. And then I found this great article um, in the Forbes, um, it's called Taking First Steps to Support response efforts and Microsoft is giving a one million dollar donation Starbucks is giving two hundred and fifty thousand um, Amazon is donating five million to small businesses the zoom remember I talked about zoom earlier the CEO is um, giving video conferencing for free to kids so there's a lot of really great things that are going on in the business world that are donating to all of us, which I think is fantastic. Uh, the last thing I was going to share with you is that when we have challenging times, there's unexpected consequences. And one of the most unexpected consequences I found through all of this that's been going on is the music that is being played on social media. I just love coming across Keith Urban doing a a great concert for us and so many talented people are out there singing and playing their instruments and I think that that is an amazing unexpected consequence from this ordeal I do want to share with you these two this we're gonna put the information for you but this little band it's these two young guys and they play the violin and I, we're gonna put the video it is so uplifting. It makes you smile the entire time that you're watching this. So I want you to go ahead. We're going to post it, and you have got to watch it. So that's really what I wanted to share with you this week is, you know, these goodwill stories that I came across and that we're going to continue to share. If you share the hashtag take heart, and that would be great. And then I will see all of you next week at 4 o'clock. And we're going to be talking a little bit about what's easy to do, what's hard to do, and what we can do. So 
really appreciate you popping by and you guys I'm here for you if you guys have any questions about anything um, if you guys need anything please let me know I am strong and I we're we're doing our best here and we're really glad to have you here and we'll see you next week lots of love to all thank you